don't miss any content don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell the Ghana Premier League has been under a lot of scrutiny in the recent times and many people complain about the pitches, complain about refereeing decisions and other things not going according to how they should be doing and comparing it to how things are outside the country. Now, one of those problems is about to be solved and that is with refereeing decisions. Now, if you remember this channel, I brought you this news I think last year about the Ghana Football Association writing to FIFA uh, to prove uh, their want for a VAR uh, that's a video assistant referee now VAR has brought about controversial uh, decisions but one thing is for sure is that it is making better decisions when now when we didn't have it now VAR is said to be introduced in Ghana football and today I'll give you details as to when it will be introduced and uh, how it will introduced uh, also we'll be talking about kudus mohammed uh, he has been hailed as the next abedi pele as you just subscribe if you have not click on the notification bell to get more updates so the ghana football association wrote uh, to fifa for approval on using the video assistant referee in the local games the league matches because refereeing decisions have been the bane or was the bane of why Anas's expose started. He said bad refereeing decisions, corrupt officials were the ones who were destroying the game of football. And it was the reason why he began that investigation, that number 12 expose that brought down the walls of Ghana football. In an attempt to mind that and prevent that from happening, the FA did a lot of work before hiring or appointing the current set of referees and now they are looking to buttress that by bringing in the video assistant referee which will be assisting referees into making better decisions the world governing body fifa have approved the project team for the implementation of the video assistant referee in ghana the gfa announced on its official website the decision was announced during a meeting held on monday 12 april 2021 on modalities for the implementation of var in ghana in the meeting the fifa technical team approved the project team for ghana which is the second key step in the implementation process of fifa approved var a fifa approved var project team includes project leader and officers with knowledge in legal information technology communication finance competition monitoring and research club license and security as well as technical and training areas now the project team is led by former Ghan Ghanaian FIFA referee Alex Clotty with support from the likes of GFA General Secretary Prosper Harrisonado and GFA Communications Director Henry Asantichu. Now half instructors in the team include Eddie Milet, Director of Referees, Jerome Damon, a FIFA slash CAF VAR instructor and Desire Doi CAF VAR instructor. With the approval of the, the project team, a kickoff meeting will commence in three weeks time to approve the timelines for all the various teams in full implementation of the VAR for the 2020 2023 season the gfa publications that are stated as part of the kickoff meeting the team will have the opportunity to select and appoint the var technology provider for the project in ghana now, the referee department of the ghana football association is working with their colleagues at fifa for a smooth implementation and instruction and, and execution of var on our domestic competitions Morocco, Egypt, and South Africa are among the few African nations to have used VAR, which reviews decisions on goals, penalties, straight red cards, and mistaken identities. And that is what is happening on the front of Ghana football and VAR. For the 2020 2023 season, the VAR will be used. And the team is being put together after the Ghana Football Association has written to CAF and FIFA have approved and brought in and brought in a team to help in the transition into full implementation of VAR. These are the steps that the FA has announced. Let me know what you think about VAR being implemented in Ghana football here. Are you excited about that? Yes, a lot of people when this news was released on social media, where's of the thought that we don't have good pitches, we don't have this, we don't have that. 
why are you bringing in VAR? Well, it has to start from somewhere. They could have brought in good pitches, started with building good pitches. But the truth is that the issue with the pitches is not directly the, the, the work of the Ghana Football Association. They have to hold the club responsible. They don't have to license match venues if they don't meet the standards, yes. But they are not the ones who can hands on make a pitch better. It is with the club owners and they have to make sure the pitches are good enough for games to be played on and if they don't do that and DFA bans them from playing there there's very little they can do beyond that and that is the reality of the ground they cannot go in and fix every single team's pitch that's even not advisable not even possible but what they can do or what they can be hands on with is something like VAR and that is why they are going in let me know what you think still about the VAR being introduced. Do you think it will help improve the decision making? Well, in Europe, it is causing more problems according to some people. But I have to admit, it has helped in some cases. My next story has to do with Kudus Mohammed uh, doing amazingly well with Ajax and with the Black Stars recently in the final Afghan qualifiers. He has been hailed as someone who is going to follow in the footsteps of Ahmed Pele. Well, I am one of the few people who does not like players being compared to former players or whatever everyone is unique in their own sense so don't expect kudus mohammed to follow in the footsteps of anyone but the footsteps that kudus mohammed will set for himself but ex Sudanese midfielder that is uh, Emmanuel Achimambed who believes a new kid on the block kudus mohammed would write his name in the nation's history books as being among the greatest players of all time. I think Kudus won't want to win an Afghan trophy, which I bet he, uh, he did actually, but was a bit part player in that 82 team, the last team that won it. Now, the Ajax midfielder has enjoyed a star start, a fine start to his international career, having so far netted twice and registered two assists in four games for the Black Stars. Now, the Ghana's in Ghana's matches for the 2021 African Cup of Nations qualifiers last month, he scored in a 1 1 draw South Africa, set up two goals in a 3 1 win over Sao Tome and Principe. Ajiman Bedu said, I will pick Kudus among the most promising talents because he's very a wonderful chap, former Edenese man said, speaking with City TV. I have watched his games at Ajax and he is a very intelligent player. He's very confident on the ball. Unfortunately, injuries have, are threatening to slow him down. Kudus can be one of the greatest players from Ghana, like Abedi Pele, if he can stay free of injuries. Kudus made his Ghana debut against South Africa in November 2019, scoring as a substitute in that 2-0 win. Days later, he made another substitute appearance versus Saltome and Principe in a 1-0 goal win. It was little surprise when he joined Ajax from Nordland last summer. Kudus has fully developed and I believe that Ajax is the gateway for him, not Lanchit Uj. Mas Uj Didi Dramani said last year, he chose the right option to play and to join Ajax despite the several offers from top European clubs. Ajax will refine him and that will also prepare him for the top European football. Ajax is one of the best clubs in Europe that play good football and also develop young uh, players. He will turn up uh, to be a world-class player because of the transition we have given him here at Norshelland. The 20-year-old is expected to return to international action in June when Ghana take on Ethiopia and South Africa in the World Cup uh, qualifiers. Kudus Mohamed Akin or associated with Abedi Pele. Well, I don't like these comparisons. They just put unnecessary pressure on the players. But let me know what you think in the comments box from Ajima Bedu's thoughts. So that has been it for today. VAR to be introduced into Ghana Premier League. And also Kudus Mohamed liking to follow in the footsteps of Abedi Pele. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great weekend.